Welcome to UITM Clinical Skills Program. This is Clinical Station 10. In this video, you will learn the correct technique of performing chest compressions in an adult or an older child. This is an essential skill in basic life support. Bear in mind that this technique is not recommended for neonates or infants. First, identify the area to perform the chest compression. The correct area is over the lower half of the sternum, below the nipple line. Do not place your hands too low to avoid compressing the zephisternum into the abdomen. Place the heel of your hand over the lower half of the sternum. You can choose to use the one-hand or two-handed technique. Interlock your fingers if using the two-handed technique. Lift your fingers to ensure that they do not press on the ribs. Position yourself vertically above the patient with your arms and elbows straight. Compress the sternum to at least one-third of the antero-posterior diameter of the chest or by a depth of 5 cm. Ensure that the chest wall fully recoils before you start the next compression. Take care that you do not lift your hand off the chest during recoil. Your hand should be in contact with the chest at all times. Compress at a rate of 100 to 120 beats per minute. This is the compression rate for all ages. Compress at a ratio of 30 compressions to 2 ventilations. Minimize any interruptions to your compressions. Stop only to perform ventilations. You can further enhance your learning by using the little NQCPR Learner app. Download the app from Google Play or Apple Store. Once downloaded, click on the app. Make sure you are connected to the mannequin using Bluetooth. Choose chest compressions on the app. Start when you are ready. Perform your chest compressions on the mannequin. You will be able to assess the adequacy of your chest compressions using the app monitor. To supplement your learning, please go to our CSL platform to download materials related to this station. You are also encouraged to view this video again in our CSL platform to help you with your practice sessions.